Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ancient astronaut theorist Giorgio Tsoukalos is at the home of Linda Moulton Howe. After examining all of the material related to the Majestic 12, she believes that the most compelling documents are those that surfaced in Maryland in 1994. This, to me, this is the best document that's been leaked. It's called Restricted Psalm 101, Majestic 12 Group. And all of us, when we first saw that title, Extraterrestrial Entities in Technology, Recovery and Disposal, one of the first things that everybody wanted to do was find out, OK, did they use this stamp in 1954 from the War Office? Turns out that they did all the way up into the 60s. And one of the more important pieces, I think, is as you go through here, they found in a government printing office, take a look at this. This is from a blow up where they were doing a test. And look at this unauthorized. And look at what happens to that Z. It raises slightly. Right. So Bob went to the government printing office and found a guy named McCarter who was printing in the GPO in Washington, D.C. in 1954. And he took one look at this text, and he said, this was done on a monotype. I used it, and the Z would collect dust, and that's why the Zs would print rays. So different steps have been taken to authenticate this document. Yes. The fellow I spoke to, he fortunately had been a long, long time employee of the public printer. And it actually worked on the kind of presses that he thought were appropriate for this document. He said, based on the printing, I'd say it clearly was printed on one of the presses in this building or in this basement of the Pentagon in 1954, which is what it says. And then when you start getting into what is in this book, you have the illustrations and sketches of four different categories of different craft, UFOs. And on this page, here are the disks. Here is a long cigar shape, which is described in this document as being up to a 1,000 feet in diameter. And then this one, the ice cream cone, and this, the triangle. And there is a paragraph in here that implies that we are dealing with collaboration, that there must be some agreement between the United States and the extraterrestrials. Really? There is, on this page 17, it's under chapter 5, and it goes into, A, encounters initiated by the extraterrestrial biological entities. Possible contact may take place as a result of overtures by the entities themselves. In these instances, it is anticipated that encounters will take place at military installations or other obscure locations selected by mutual agreement. This by is mutual? Yeah, wow. 1954. According to the Majestic 12 documents, the men who made up this group and were in communication with beings from other worlds included top scientists government officials, and high-ranking military personnel. In 1954, President Eisenhower uh, supposedly met with uh, extraterrestrials in Palm Springs at Edwards Air Force Base, otherwise known as Murak. And there's a lot of whistleblower testimony about his presence um, at this meeting. He was just as probably alarmed or shocked as anybody, you know, realizing the larger picture. But with all the whistleblower testimony about these different encounters, I pretty much side on the fact that he, he did make contact.